Hey, I'm Taylor. I've been leading an alternative lifestyle for the last two years. From living in a van to living on a sailboat. With my guitar by my side along the way. Subscribe to follow me along this wild adventure that I call life. So here in Dominican, um, I'm getting ready. Just got my wetsuit stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna be going to get scuba dive certified. So wish me luck. I think today is just the booklets and kind of practicing the pool. And then um, I'll book the actual dives later on in the week. Just got picked up. Got a whole truck just for us. <laughs> yeah. First I had to fill out my necessary information, then it was time to move on to learning how to assemble all the equipment and what everything does. We practice assembling and disassembling all of the equipment twice. Then we assisted each other in putting on and inspecting each other's gear. We also had a brief lesson on underwater communication using hand signals. Secure it. Then it was time to get in the pool and put it all into practice. Heavy. The first day was only a short training day, so it was time to head home. But it was a beautiful ride through the city of Porta Plata. Today is day two of the dive certification. Um, we're up pretty early. It's like, we were up at like six this morning. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're about to head out of the boat here and get picked up. It's about an hour drive to where we're gonna be diving. Um, so we should be doing this all day until about 1.30 or 2.30. Yesterday we just went in the pool and today we're actually going in the ocean. So she's gonna be joining me. She's a pro though, so I mean, She'll, she gets to dive on her own and do her own stuff, whereas I'm still doing the training. Because I'm a new. As this was my first day practicing in the ocean, I figured I'd leave the GoPro back so I wasn't distracted while I was learning. Which means, unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of underwater footage. Ah, I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's, oh, it's amazing to see everything under there. On day three, I practiced underwater navigation using the compass. And two different methods of regulator recovery. I practiced partially clearing my mask as well as fully removing it. Neutral buoyancy is also a very important part of scuba diving. Once the serious training was done, it was time to have some fun. I 
I was really blown away by how much variety of life there is underwater. Living on a sailboat, I guess I just always think more about the surface of the water. I fulfilled a childhood dream of actually being able to swim with the fishes. We got the chance to see some cool wildlife, including a lionfish, two lobsters, and even a very well camouflaged seahorse. Overall, I love the experience much more than I thought I would. It really is a whole different world under there, with so much beauty to be seen. After this dive session, I spent a few days studying the books to make sure I was ready for the test. I didn't film it, but it's safe to say that I passed. I am officially a PADI Open Water Certified Diver. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.